This may be part of the stadia, or the stadium of Augustus. And if so, this would have been used for uh, private athletic events staged for the benefit of the Imperials. I think this is part of that offshoot tunnel. Again, the guidebooks are absolutely worthless in defining what this space is, although it certainly is interesting. Look at these deep rooms. Certainly these were huge buildings, whatever they were. If this is the part that's quote-unquote grayed, imagine what was above. areas if you will but I'm sure they weren't used for that purpose. It's interesting to note that there appear to be drainage holes or either drainage or access for water or something there. Another curious labyrinth. Notice the grooves against the wall. Do they continue behind that space? That pile of brick? Was all of this two or three eras of usage? Apparently what we're looking at here is the remains of Circus Maximus. Reference Ben-Hur. While the Colosseum was capable of holding 50,000, this was capable of holding 200,000. But imagine if you had a palace here, all your hanger-ons would be up on the balcony with you or wherever they could get so they could watch from this high view. As I pan along, try to imagine what those different levels were for. And was this a central set of seats that ranged up that embankment and were those other slopes going up to it on either side just simply ramps up and down Again, the provenance of this is unknown, to me at least. Presumably these are original marble floor tiles. Somewhat broken up, but it gives us at least a hint of color. And Here you get an idea of how the columns were in fact made out of vertical thin pieces of marble. But nevertheless, this must have looked rather spectacular. <laughs> oh, 
one of the few signs. Here's a beautiful entryway to a, a palace. Identical matching stairs on each side. Beautiful grotto in the center. And this was all brand new and the rock was sparkling and there were colors and perhaps frescoes in those panels and little statues maybe in those niches. How beautiful that would have been. This area here begins to epitomize the use that the Florentine era made of this Palatine in the form of gardens. And of course we're seeing the very aged remains of that, but you can imagine how pretty it would have looked then because it looks lovely today. One would suggest to the Jackson trophy home builders that they visit here for ideas. And just to orientate you, there is the broken building that I first saw. The gardens are directly behind me. Here are formal gardens. Small buildings with which to enjoy the gardens and the view. Perhaps they came here from their estates, which might have been below, and spent the days here. There are more formal gardens. Notice the palm tree. These oranges are small and not too well developed, but in town where I've seen fully developed oranges, people reach up, pick them off, start eating them. Some evidence of the same thing here. Well, my guess is the size of these might make them rather tart. Here we have a natural little grotto flowing off of that little raw raceway of water and grotto type thing that we saw up above. And if you recall, I had walked through here at the end of that tunnel. Let's just take a little walk around these gardens. One of the things I notice more and more as I travel is the mixing of races. Just to add some icing to the cake, I'll pan down into the form, which I'll visit in the next couple of days or so. Try to decipher the guidebooks on that. What a mix. <laughs> I just had the epiphany that Rome seems to me a crossroads, not so much physically, geographically, but in time, in history. It has brought to it, took from it, Egypt, all of the impacts that it had from conquering those countries of its empire, but yet it was attacked by and somehow influenced by quote-unquote the barbarians of different kinds from different places at different times. It sucked intellectually from Greece as well as Egypt for its art and then became the fountainhead for 
the rebirth of all of that in the Renaissance, ultimately affecting the culture in great depth of Europe and consequently the United States. I'm going to shoot some of these shots just as uh, different views uh, for when I actually go down there, then these can be used as like starter shots for each section, if you will. It's interesting music because it sounds like the music of Peru.